Hey everybody, I'm Matt. And I'm Christy. And this is your Leadership Tip of the Week. Tip stands for training, inspiration, and prizes. And we're going to try and give you all that in about 90 seconds. Let's see how it goes. Our Leadership Tip of the Week this week is a two-parter. We're going to be this week and next week on how to be a servant leader like Jesus was a servant leader. Good leaders are servant leaders like Jesus. And so I'm going to give you three things this week that you can do and then three more uh, next week. The first thing that you can do is to reach out to hurting people. This is the example that Jesus gave us. He was always reaching out to hurting people. And this is something a servant leader does. It reaches out to those who are in need, even though it's difficult to serve those who are, who are in real need, who are hurting sick and lowly. So that's the first thing a, a good servant leader does. Second thing a good servant leader does is offer genuine apologies when you do something wrong. That's that's hard for us to do when we're um, when we mess up or when we uh, don't give somebody the attention they need or, or or treat somebody the way that we should have. And sometimes just an oversight, and we we didn't mean to do it, but it's it's good for us to apologize anyway. Um, and and a real genuine apology, not you know not the fake kind of apology that I. I do right. I mean, like, like a real apology. Like, I'm very sorry that I that I hurt you. I'm um, not like if I hurt your feelings, you know. I'm, you're so sensitive, all right. But like a real apology. And the third thing that we can do is um, to be a servant leader for others is to not speak ill of other people publicly. Um, so many times we may have a, a, a difference of agreement or see something in somebody that we wish was different. Um, but if we can just keep those things to ourselves and make them a matter of prayer or make them between us and the other person, but not talk about, you know, like, you know, Christy's always bad-mouthing me in public about, you know, all kinds of stuff. No, she doesn't. But we shouldn't do that. And so those are three things that we can do to be a good servant leader. And good leaders are servant leaders like Jesus. Reach out to those who are hurting and lowly. Offer genuine apologies when you need to. And don't speak ill of other people in public. So do we have a prize this week, Christy? We do. This week is a $25 gift card to Amazon. All right. Biggest store in the world, Amazon. <laughs> See who our winner is, Scott Miller. Congratulations, Scott. Come see me Sunday, and I'll give you your gift card. All right, good job, Scott. We appreciate all you guys. I'm Matt. I'm Christy. And that's your Leadership Tip of the Week. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye. Bye now.